Austin, take us through the days after the shooting. What were things like on campus? A lot of people left, um, so it was it was very barren. There wasn't a lot of students around. Um, that was one thing I didn't do. I didn't want to leave. I felt like if I didn't experience the feelings that I was having at that moment that I never would in my life. Like I was scared that I would bury them forever and never deal with them. So I stayed at ca- on campus, even though my parents were you know, begging me to come home and and whatever. But Well, um, you talked right before break about, you know, sort of a lack of sense of safety. What about after? I mean, did you? Well, I think immediately after, I mean, you did feel, you did feel like someone, you know, had just violated you in every way. So that was definitely very apparent for the first couple of days after the shooting. I did, I didn't go back to my dorm room for several days because I just didn't feel safe there. I felt weird just being in that room again, because I had had, you know, I'd spent so much time there the day of the shooting, not doing anything, but just being bombarded by so many media of different kinds. Um, So it made me really uncomfortable just to step in the dorm. So I had been staying off campus with friends and um, with my sorority sisters. So that was very uncomfortable. And then there were the press. Um, That was also extremely overwhelming, especially it's weird to look back on considering that I am a member of the press now. And while I was in college, I was, you know, studying journalism. And I actually did speak at some, some conferences about that whole experience and how it impacted, you know, me going into journalism and how I feel about stuff like that. But um, we have this um, hotel and conference center on campus, and it's like up on a hill. And for a while, that entire hill was just covered with news trucks, covered, you know, reporters everywhere, news trucks everywhere. And once they found out that I was his RA, it was like I was getting phone calls off the hook on my cell phone somehow and on my room phone. So I just didn't, you know, I didn't want to be in the building because of that as well. Um, But it was really bad. I mean, there were reporters faking, faking disabilities to try and get into our dorm, um, trying to sneak in, you know, just trying to film down the hall. We caught a film crew filming down the hallway of his, of his, that, that stretch of the hallway and into his room and (laughs) had to kick him out. But it was just, it was extremely overwhelming because of all the media. 